Hello! In this video, we're going to install a Feed the Beast mod pack on our server. I'm going to install Monster version 1.1.1 for Minecraft 1.6.4. Chances are that you're installing a different pack. That's okay. There are very few differences between installing different packs, mostly just different mods and file names. You can also follow along if you're installing a Technic platform mod pack like Techit or Hexit. To get started, download the server file's zip archive. For Feed the Beast, this is done using the launcher by clicking the download server button. For Technic platform packs, the download links are on their website. Once you've downloaded the pack you want, extract it into a temporary folder on your computer. Now we need to delete any .sh or batch files. For Feed the Beast packs, these are named startserver.sh and startserver.bat. These are used only if you're hosting a server on your own computer, and so aren't needed with a host horde server. Next, we're going to rename our server jar to custom underscore server dot jar. This will ensure better compatibility with Multicraft. Unfortunately, this makes the server jar ambiguous, so if you ever have to contact our support, make sure you say exactly what mod pack you're running. In Multicraft, stop the server if it's running. Now we need to upload the pack to our server with FTP using FileZilla. If you're unfamiliar with FTP, check out our guide on FTP in the knowledge base. If you have a vanilla world save and related files, it's a good idea to delete them at this point. I'm going to delete everything except for my jar folder. On the left panel, navigate to where you unzip the pack on your computer, select all the subfolders except for libraries, and upload them to the root directory of the server. For this pack, these are mods and config. Different packs may vary slightly. Uploading may take a while, depending on the size of the files and the speed of your internet connection. You can watch the progress of the uploads at the bottom of FileZilla. Once you've finished uploading, open the jar directory on your server by double-clicking it. Upload your server jar in the libraries folder here. Again, this may take a while. Now that everything has been uploaded, switch back to Multicraft. In the jar file dropdown, select Mod Custom Server. Scroll down and click Save. Now you can start your server. We can watch the startup progress in the console. And now, we're running Feed the Beast on our server. For more guides on running your server, check out the extensive knowledge base on our website. Thanks for watching.